Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over how to tame all current Arc Editions creatures in Arc Ascended. But yeah, let's get on with the video. The first creature up on this list is a Ceratosaurus. First thing you are going to need is a dino that can tank lots of damage as you need to sacrifice it. Then you will need to feed it a Hemoglobin Cocktail. Then finally use either Extraordinary Kibble or Mutton to finish the tame. I will provide a quick demonstration to show you how it's done. Make sure your dino is on passive as you don't want to fight or kill the Ceratosaurus. Then watch as the drunk effect goes up and wait till it hits 100%. Once he does, you can safely walk up to it and feed it. Boom. Easy, right? Now, the Ceratosaurus is basically an Allosaurus on steroids as it has a speed buildup and a strong bleed attack. It does suck in water though, so keep that in mind. Up next on the list is the Dinosuchus. First, you're going to want to get a set of Gilly as it's a lot easier to sneak up on the team. Secondly, make sure you're at least level 70 as if you're too low level, you're not be allowed to tame it. And finally, make sure you have superior kibble. What you're going to want to do is wait for the Dinosuchus to sit in its resting position. Once it does, start to make your way towards it and it will slowly start to open its jaws. Once you get in front of its jaws, feed the cable and run. Rinse and repeat the process and you got an absolute beast on your side. It has a powerful right click ability that breaks the dino's bones for 15 seconds and causes massive bleed damage during that time. It's also a decent swimmer for the size and eh, I'm pretty slow on land so keep that in mind. Our third creature on the list is a unique one, the Dinotherium. The way to tame them is pretty simple if you follow the steps. First thing you will need is beer. Once you get close to the Dinotherium, it'll start to sniff the air. This is your signal that you're in its range. It'll come towards you, but stay a couple feet away. Once it's standing in front of you, it's going to start shaking its head in different patterns. Make sure to do the proper patterns you see here three times in a row to ensure it isn't going to attack you. If you see something different, walk away and come back to it and try again. Once it does the proper pattern, feed it, run away, and it'll be passive for 30 seconds. Rinse and repeat for it to be tamed. The Dinotherium has a full range 360 degree movement, and males can taunt creatures with a buff scream, which also has a 50% resistance and damage buffs that cannot stack. And females can also do this, but it's 5% instead of 15, and they can stack up to 3 times, which would be 15%. Also, don't have more than 2-3 to three males, I believe, because the more males, the weaker the bonuses. The Helicoprion is next on our list. First thing you will need is little ratfish treats. Then you will need some strong underwater creature like a Basilo or Baryonyx. The reason being is once you feed it, it'll shoot out a cloud of ammonite bile, which will have everything in the area come after you. So Baryonyx makes short and easy work. But yeah, rinse and repeat the process and you're good. The Helicoprion has two main attacks. The bite, which is a primary attack, and its secondary attack is a tail whip attack. Unfortunately, it doesn't stun, which is kind of weird seeing as I feel like it should do some kind of stun attack, but oh well. The best thing about this creature though is the ability to turn crafted items into blueprints. However, there is a chance to fail and to mitigate slash eliminate that chance, you'll need to upgrade the success rate. Once you do that, any item that you have that you want to turn into a blueprint can be done with the Helicoprion. The Brachiosaurus is one of the more interesting tames, as to knock it out, you actually need to shoot it with regular bullets. Yeah, like shotgun pellets. <laughs> My recommendation is to use the shotgun, as it makes it so much easier. When the Brachiosaurus is aggroed, try to make it go on its high legs, and shoot its back legs that are on the ground. You'll see instead of doing damage, it's actually doing torpor. Once it's knocked out, feed it extraordinary cable, and there you go. It has a taunt scream. It can do a ground slam, that can farm flint, fiber, and other resources. Up next on the list is the Sephactinus. The Sephactinus is a very quick and agile water dino. The main things you will need are the harpoon with shrinks or a rifle with shock and shrinks if you're near the surface. Those crossbows will probably kill them since they have high torpor and low HP. Now, if it's near the surface, I would recommend making a trap, but my Sephactinus was stuck in a lake, so it's easy to get. All you need to do is knock it out and feed it either mutton or superior kibble and you're good. They are pack boosted dinos and cause a bleed effect as you can literally see blood go everywhere. They have a short burst speed ability which is linked to the latching attack which causes the main bleed damage. The final dino on this list is the Archleon. The Archleon is a giant version of the modern sea turtle. To tame it all you need to do is find them on the beach. I found this one at night as I think they only come out at night and early morning but I could be mistaken. And basically just feed it cable and you're good. So it's horizontal forward movement is fast. But once you go vertically up or down, they are a bit slower, so keep that in mind. They can also seat four people on a saddle, which can be convenient. They have a jellyfish buff, which makes them immune to the sting, and they gather increased biotoxin and do increased damage to them. That's it for all the current Arc Edition creatures on Arc Ascendant. If you're new around here, please consider subbing as it really helped me out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.